much. We'll transit to the next edition of the next uh, uh, segment on the program that uh, you know what we do, focusing on the activities of Lagos State Government, particularly the strides they have made in various sectors, health, education, infrastructure, and several other areas. We're talking about the administration of Governor Babajide Sonwolu, that's uh, Greater Lagos Rising. We wish you the very best. And uh, as we, 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 we round off this edition, I say thank you for being faithful to this program, that summit. My name is Banji Busari. See you again next week. Bye-bye. On Wednesday, 1st of May, 2024, the governor, Babajide Sonwolu, addressed workers during the May Day celebration which held at Mobolaji Johnson Arena, Oniko, Lagos Island. The arena was filled with civil servants and civil society groups. The year 2024 theme was People First. Governor Babajide Sawolu expressed solidarity with the Nigerian workers over the demand for wage increase, saying his administration would continue to prioritize welfare and prosperity of the workforce in the state. Expected, is empowered and able to live with dignity and pride. I want to express my deepest gratitude to the hardworking men and women who makes Lagos State vibrant. And that's you. And that's you. That's you over there. That's you over there. And all of you even on this podium with me. Your dedication inspires us all. And it is an honor, it's a great honor for me to serve as your governor at this time. Together, let us continue to strive for a future where the mantra of people's first is not just a slogan, but it's a reality for every citizen. I stand here truly humbled, but with gratitude to all of you. I stand here truly grateful for the very kind words we've used to describe our government. What that tells us is that we can do more, we can do better, we can reinvent, we can recuperate, we can extend the environment in which we work, we can create an ambience where indeed people's first will be the center of everything that we do. I want you to live here, <coughs> truly encouraged, truly push forward, knowing fully well that this government will continue to work for you. With the understanding that we'll hold hands together, we'll judge all together. I have listened and I've listened carefully to all the concerns that have been expressed here today by your leadership from the NLC to the TUC. And I've taken adequate notes to go back and do the right thing at all times and ensure that indeed the slogan of people first is a mantra that we will live with. I want to therefore, on behalf of all of you, thank your leadership. The Lagos State Head of Service, Mr. Bode Aguru, in his opening speech, said Lagos State Government has always put the issues relating to its workforce on the front burner, knowing fully well that they are the engine room of numerous achievements in our dear state. On this note, I would like to commend the trade union, the trade and labor unions under the leadership of Comrade Agnes Sassi and Comrade Benga Ekundayo in Lagos State for their understanding and maturity in which they have been handling labor issues and acknowledging and acknowledge in particular the exemplary approach employed by the unions constituting the Lagos State Public Service Joint Negotiation Council, ably represented by Comrade Olushagun Malu. Let me reiterate that the administration of Mr. Babaji de Ulushala Sonolu recognizes the importance of labor unions and will continue to foster harmonious and cordial relationship with the labor. By way of reciprocating, sir, I want to assure you that the Lagos State Public Servants will continue to support this administration in all its pursuits and growth and development of the state. I therefore enjoin the labor leaders to let us continue to forge a relationship devoid of any acrimony in order to achieve our individual goals as well as to assist the state to achieve its function, functional, safe, secure and productive model mega city. Let us continue to work together and endeavor to put people first in everything that we do. 
Let us be our brother's keepers and look out for each other, one for all and all for one. On her part, the Lagos State NLC chairperson, Fumi Sesi, commended the Lagos State government for the 24% salary increment for state workers, full implementation of 35,000 Naira wage award and prompt payment of salaries in the state. They appreciate Mr. Governor for all your intervention and they, they are also asking for a payment of barriers of 2019 consequential adjustment. They also appreciate Mr. Governor for the 25,000 wage award and they want to sir, to continue that wage award because they have stopped. They don't want the stoppage of it because we go to the same market. Sir, we have all other issues. That's why the prevailing harsh economic situation, the management of Lagos State Water Corporation embarked on the massacre of workers. It is disaster to state that over 450 contract staff of the corporation were disengaged in November 2023. Many of whom have spent 10 years and above in the service. We have been able to give a rundown, but we have to give time. Our prayer is that our able Mr. Governor to take another lead and respond to this request adequately as a father, as partner in progress that he has always been, as stakeholder in Lagos of our dream. Each May Day unfolds as a solemn commemoration, weaving together the threads of sacrifice and fortitude that define the indomitable spirit of the labor force. Today, we stand shoulder to shoulder to honor those whose tireless efforts shape the very foundation of our society. In the crucible of urban sprawl, the specter of food insecurity looms large, casting a shadow over the vibrancy of our city. Yet, amidst the challenges that face us, a ray of hope emerges, a vision of a future where there is abundance on every table, every stomach is filled, and every citizen is nourished. Appreciation to the state government under the able leadership of Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu. On behalf of all members of the state public service, I extend our heartfelt gratitude for your prompt action in implementing the wage award for all public servants in Lagos State. The new minimum wage. We seize this opportunity to reaffirm our eager anticipation of workers across Lagos State for the implementation of the new minimum wage. It is imperative to note and commend Lagos State's long-standing commitment to prompt implementation of minimum wage adjustment, setting a commendable precedent among all states in the Federation. The minimum wage implementation of 2019 remains a testament to this. And as a follow-up, 2023 January, there was also 20% increase in the salary of workers in Lagos State. We thank Mr. Governor and the entire state for taking such proactive measure as the state continues to navigate economic challenges, the Lagos State Government remains steadfast in its resolve to prioritize the prosperity and welfare of its workforce and ensuring a brighter future for all residents of Lagos State. The Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Mr. Tukumbo Wahab, during the year 2024 annual ministerial press briefing held at the Bagauda Kautu Press Center, Alausa, said that parts of the Lagos environment have been degraded due to the brazen acts of some residents. At the press briefing, he reiterated the determination of the present administration to correct all wrongdoings while ensuring that there are consequences for infractions. A total of 900 kilograms of styrofoam food containers have so far been confiscated and deposited at our TLS Marina in Oshodi for destruction. More efforts are however being intensified on public's awareness and sensitization of residents on the dangers inherent in continued usage of styrofoam as food containers. One of our agencies, LOMA, during 
the period under review, identified 103 illegal black spots across the metropolis and made efforts to ensure its dislodging just as a total of 1,081 1, environmental offenders were arrested for various environmental offenses with 1,016 being prosecuted by the mobile magistrate court and sentenced to community service at various lo locations in the state with an option of fine. The state of the two main dub sites, Oluchosu and Solus, has also experienced some form of rehabilitation leading to increased capacity. I can joyfully inform you that Lagos State Government has also signed an MOU with Jospon Group from Ghana on solid and liquid waste treatment solution in the state. This MOU will ensure the identification of existing dump sites and TLSs as a potential candidate for conversion and upgrading to material recovery facilities and composite facilities. The collaboration between Lagos State Government and Just One Technical Team will re-engineer the solid waste management system in Lagos State and ensure creation of job opportunities in the waste to wealth value chain. In the same vein, we are also at an advanced stage of signing an MOU with Harvest Waste Limited, a Dutch company backed by the Dutch government for waste to energy. The commissioner who was rendering the account of his stewardship at the ministry in the past year said past and present administrations have done so much to ensure that Lagos State does not experience loss of lives and property to the vagaries of flash flooding. It's because of the selfishness of some people who consider themselves affluent and could have their ways irrespective of whose ox is God. Many of our major drainage channels, setbacks have been built upon. The ministry has threatened its drainage enforcement and compliance department to be very firm but polite in ensuring due diligence in, cons con in due diligence concerning all drainage channels and restoring the right of ways on all our channels. The ministry has also awarded contracts for the restoration of the right of way on six natural drainage channels in the state. They include the right of ways of system 40 and 40A, Alaba International, restoration of right of way on system 34B, Ayetoru, Iteku, Ishasi drainage channel, Ojo Luka government, restoration and protection of right of way on system 12D, drainage channel, Omoli Ujudu channel, Ujudu Luka government, restoration and protection of right of way on system 1B, Antonio Ki, Alo primary channel, Kushofe local government area. Restoration of right of way on system 131C, Udu Irai, Epe channel. And the restoration of right of way on system 109, Irue drainage channel, Likorodu. Carried out an operations that unearthed a major illegal housing settlement constructed under the Dolphin Bridge in Ikoi. An unbelievable 80 number of rooms partitioned 10 by 10 and 10 by 12 and 26 miscreants and containers used for different legal activities were also discovered. All the structures have been dismantled and a total of 26 miscreants who lived under the same bridge were arrested while efforts are intensified to arrest the ringleader who rented out the underbridge apartment which has also been electricity, which with actual electricity supply. Kai largest are operatives in conjunction with the state tax force on special offenses also cleaned up the Jora Causeway under bridge, the Akombo under bridge, Obalende under bridge, which have become abode to undesirable elements who posed security risk to the state and cleaned up the coastal road at Mayegu Estate. Jack on the priority to the commencement of the control of the Calabar Lagos Coastal Road. The Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Bengal Motosho, also spoke on the government's efforts at ensuring a safe and clean environment in Lagos State. Today is all about environment. A lot has been going on in that sector. We are here in Lagos, 
because of the efforts of the Ministry of Environment, whenever it rains, no matter how tough, uh, we go to bed with our two eyes closed because we know that uh, the ministry has done its job. And in these days when you hear that uh, there are landlords collecting rent under the bridge, uh, you know that uh, <laughs> a lot uh, is uh, going on. Uh, very serious uh, incidents are very comical at the same time. While promising not to demolish any property that contravenes the environmental law, but to remove such in the name of public interest, the Commissioner, Mr. Tokumba Wahab, disclosed that the Ministry will continue to ensure law and order, construct new drainage channels, and intensify works on already existing ones. The year 2024 ministerial briefing of the Lagos State Ministry of Works and Infrastructure held recently and had in attendance commissioners, permanent secretaries, directors of government parastatals, and journalists. The Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Bengal Motosho, gave the opening remarks. Uh, Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, in the view of many people, is the backbone of uh, many administrations. We fix the road and so many other things that we do that you benefit from. So you will agree with me that people who don't use our health facilities, who don't use our schools, they use our roads. And to measure the sources of any government, in my own view, people feel it's all about roads, it's all about buildings that you can put together, infrastructure to show that uh, we are doing everything under the themes uh, plus agenda of uh, the Mr. Babajide Olushola Sanwolu administration to catch up with the what all the other mega cities that Lagos can rank with. If a Lagos is uh, ranked among the best today, it's because this ministry has not been sleeping. The special advisor to Mr. Governor on infrastructure, engineer Femi Daramola, reiterated government's commitment towards infrastructure development in the state. He mentioned that the office's mandate has been responsive to bridge the gap between the required infrastructure and the current infrastructure projects in a way that generates economic growth and enables society to function. Mr. Governor, Babaji Deolu Shola Sanwolu has undertaken to resolve this challenge by focusing heavily on investments in transport infrastructure. However, there remain significant investment gaps that must be addressed. In solving these challenges, several projects have been identified at different stages, either preliminary works, survey works, due diligence. In the eastern side, we know indeed studies are ongoing for the proposed Fort Mainland, the Lagos Lagoon Highway, alternative routes to the Dangote Eleko Fertilizer Axis to decongest because the deep sea port is there, the, um, lots of tank farms are coming up there. In the Lagos West, we're also considering other proposals to link Shasha, provide a bridge so that we can link up Union, Shomori, Adamudania and the airports. We have the Ayeto Ruashipa Parents' Choice in Ayobo, which is in view. Lots of studies are ongoing. Same goes for the Lagos Central, where we have already executed some projects. But I must mention here that lots of work are going on to continue to develop alternative routes, carrying out the studies, the visibility studies and all. I will move to the agencies at this time. The Lagos State Public Works Corporation, since the inception of Mr. Governor Babaji Deolushola Sonwolu and Mr. Deputy Governor Obafemi Kadri Amzat, the public works has intervened on a total of 2,702 roads covering approximately 431 kilometers. These roads vary from palliative measures. The, the, the interventions they bring up vary from palliative works, routine maintenance, rehabilitation of strategic roads, 
total road reconstruction, strategic interventions on damaged road furniture. It's noteworthy to mention that the corporation has evolved from routine maintenance work to full-scale construction. Some of the notable roads constructed include Babajide Sonwolu Road, formerly Topemu Road, Reeves and Onilegbale Streets in Ikoyi, Akinsulure Streets in Ikoyi, in Surulere, Raymond Streets in Yaba, Abudu Smith, Victoria Island, Odolphin Streets in Ikorodu, Igbubo Bayeku Streets in Ikorodu is ongoing, and some other road networks in Okota, such as Unity, Osibebe, ETC. The plan is to continue to develop capacity, have alternative options to flexible pavements. As we see, the rains are here now. The corporation is poised to establish an interlocking paving stone production yard. This will serve as an alternative to asphalt premix due to prevailing high cost of asphalt production, the cost of bitumen, diesel, ETC, and most importantly, the weather and property. Lagos State Material Testing has been at the forefront of ensuring that all constructive compliance with standards using building codes and regulations as a predominant basis to confirm that the materials being installed on site meet mandated standards in adherence to external legal requirements. In conclusion, the provision of these building infrastructures by the government notwithstanding, we are convinced that the future of any meaningful infrastructure delivery should be private sector driven with government strengthening the operational environment and legal framework for private sector participation. Lagos State has always opened its doors for developmental support and partnership collaboration for multilateral and bilateral development organizations. Our government believes in partnerships and collaboration, which we believe hasten development, economic buoyancy, and social advancement. So um, is uh, given all the attentions needed to the completion of Masi Hospital. And as I speak with you now, um, the last uh, tour that we made to that place confirmed that um, the hospital itself is about 40% uh, completed. And the car park you know, associated with it is like 85% completed. So if you look at that, I mean, we are looking at the uh, end of uh, end of 2025, by December 2025, the project itself will be delivered to the uh, populace. The strategic thrust of the Office of Works based on the Themes Plus agenda of Governor Sawolu's administration has been centered around the continuation of strategic ongoing offices and public buildings, major renovation works, facility management, and maintenance of offices and public buildings.